Listen, this is really, really a good one. I want y'all to pay attention. And send, this is from Cindy Fitzgerald. And thank you, Cindy, for writing this down. Uh, you got your picture over here and your real name. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Good for you to, uh, to, to tell about this. Now, what she says is, thank you again, Naya. As you know, my dad died when I was young. I think he died at 31, she said, of cancer. And yes, he did agree to that. I guess it was pretty painful. He did agree to that experience. Uh, by the way, he was a long-term human. And he did that on purpose to have the experience of, of dying young and dying under those circumstances. You also knew that he was going to die when you came into the family. Nobody switched you over. You, you chose that. And uh, so let's, let me read all of it and then I'll get back to it. And uh, because he died young, it caused her, she said, it caused me to feel deserted and low self-esteem. But I went the other way with men. I was not always very nice or caring. Is that something that starseeds do as well? Not very proud of that part of my life, but I also learned a lot. But I did hurt people, and I'm sorry for that. In the first place, don't be sorry. Uh, there's no reason to be sorry about anything. Everybody, everything agrees to everything at all times. That you cannot make anything or anyone do anything they don't want to. So what what you do is you set your intention for whatever you're going to do, and then volunteers or people that that their intention fits a, a role in your intention come together and that's what law of attraction does it brings all these different puzzle pieces together so everybody gets what they want now i know it's hard for people to believe that somebody would come here and want to die a painful death of cancer young but i'm sorry that's the way it is if you want happy joy joy butterflies and rainbows you don't come play this game this game is intense. It's full of intense um, experiences. And the people that come here, the entities that come here and do it over and over again, that's what they want. They want intense, difficult, unusual circumstances and experiences. That's why they come. You don't come here to live in happy, happy, joy, joy light game. You stay out of this game if that's what you want. There are lots of other games that are full of butterflies and rainbows. Lots of them. Lots of them don't have time, don't have fear, don't have um, worry, none of that stuff. You don't You don't come to this game if you don't like those things. Now what happened is Star Seeds came to help Gaia. Most of us did not spend much time, I didn't spend hardly any time, deciding what I was going to do while I was in human form. Everything that I knew that I was going to do was my vibrational consciousness that came in to assist Gaia on a vibratory level. What I was doing when I was in human form, I didn't really care about. It wasn't really relevant. There's a lot more that I do that has nothing to do with this human form, that I, this skin suit. So, needless to say, I have not taken very good care of it. I have not treated it well because I was doing other things. Well, now I'm aware of that. So, I'm trying to be a lot more kind to this body, okay? Now, the point here is that in my case, and a lot of star seeds, and that's easy for people to fess up about, is, especially women, we got ourselves into situations where men were very, very mean, to us in many ways from physical and sexual abuse to psychological abuse to control to mental everything you name that's what what happened we came into physical form in the female body knowing that in order to get our vibration from where we came in which was very high with no or little experience in this physicality of these low low vibrations we put ourselves into family situations that would draw our vibration down rapidly. And however you chose to do that, it's all fine. We had to all do it in some way or another. Many starseeds report pretty severe abuse 
and then they went into families where they were continued to be abused. That's simply to keep a high vibratory being into the third dimension, which was very, very low vibrations, without taking millions of lifetimes to gradually lower our, our vibration to get there and to learn how to do physicality. We didn't do that. We didn't come to to have fun in human form. That wasn't the point. We, we have bigger fish to fry, so to speak. So what you did, and a lot of star seeds have done this, they just don't talk about it, is instead of being the abused uh, you became the abuser. Well, that's still lowering your vibration. It's just doing it in a different way, okay? Because you lowered it in anger. And fear is, despair is like the lowest one from my, that's how I see it. And of course, it's gradual, gradual, gradual up. But despair is the lowest, just complete despair, you can't move. Then right above that is fear, and above that is anger, okay? On the vibratory scale. So you didn't go as low, but you didn't need to. Anger and fear go hand in hand. Uh, down in the third dimension. So you chose to go to the vibrations more of fear than you did, I mean, of anger more than fear. Now, your anger and the situation that you were created was all based on your fear. Your fear of being abandoned, your fear of not being good enough. So ultimately, you went down to that fear vibe, but you came out of it real quick by using um, being the one that's in control and, and, and being not nice to others. So you landed... You, you started in fear, but you went up to anger, and that's how you survived the third dimension. And then you've come up since then to 4D, and you can continue to go up to get to 5D, okay? So, no harm, no foul. No judging yourself either, okay? No judging anything in fourth dimension if you want to get through it quickly and cleanly. And that means you too. The past is the past. Everything was agreed upon. You knew what you were doing all as well. End of story. There's no more to be said about that. Now, you're in the now. Now you can walk out of this. Don't pay any attention to what you did in the past. Past is irrelevant. It's an illusion. You'll see soon enough how that works. It doesn't matter anymore. What does matter is right this moment. Okay? You did what you did. Everybody agreed to it, including you. No judgment to anybody. Thank you very much. Shake your hands and move on. And this video is for everybody else that has never has not told me that they were the bad guy. Because I know you're out there. There are plenty of star seeds, just as many that chose being the one that controls things out of anger that didn't that went to fear and said, ah, I can't I can't land here. It's too low. It's too difficult. I went to fear and then despair. And I totally get that. And some star seeds just went, uh, uh I'll be in 3D, but I can't go down that low and stay. So they did the next best thing and went to anger. And that's perfectly fine. All of it is. Star seeds are here. You're doing a great job. Now, now that you know, you can come out of just all of it. No despair. No need for fear. No need for judgment. No need for anger anymore. It was what it was to get on this planet and put your feet on the ground. And walk day to day. It's all good. It's all good. All right? Okay, that should end that. No more feeling sorry. No sorrying. I don't like sorry. There's no reason to be sorry about anything. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you very much for your support. Please subscribe if you haven't. And thumbs up this video if you would. Huge hugs. I love you so much. Bye now.